Stephen Kinnock. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. In the last few days, governments across the UK have outlined the first tentative steps out of lockdown and towards the reopening of our economy. But this clearly will not happen overnight. So the government must avoid cliff edges and must also help businesses and individuals to get back on their feet, which is why Labour's British recovery bond proposal is so crucial. Madam Deputy Speaker, the hospitality sector has been particularly hit hard by this crisis. Speaking with pubs and restaurants in my Aberavon constituency, they tell me that the uncertainty over the future economic support packages is making a difficult situation intolerable. They don't know whether they will have the money to pay bills and they can't give their employees assurances over whether they'll be furloughed or not because they're waiting for the UK government to decide. The UK government needs to provide business and employees with clarity by extending and reforming the furlough scheme so that it lasts for as long as restrictions are in place and while demand is significantly reduced. Pubs and restaurants haven't been able to take advantage also of the reduced VAT rate, as for large parts of the year they've been shut and when they have been able to operate it's been at reduced capacity. Decisive action by the UK government is therefore needed. Extending the temporary 5% reduced rate of VAT for, for the hospitality, tourism and culture sectors would allow businesses to plan for survival and to invest in safeguarding jobs. Another area that the UK government desperately needs to address is the gaps in support schemes. It's a travesty that the government continues after a year almost to ignore the plight of so many who've been excluded from the support schemes and have not received the support they desperately need. My Aberavon constituency is a hotbed of creative talent, following in the footsteps of Anthony Hopkins, Michael Sheen and Richard Burton. For many in the creative arts industry, though it's been horrendous, their industries closed down, their work has dried up, their income has fallen off a cliff. And because of the nature of their employment, they haven't been able to, for any of the support schemes, and their savings preclude them from universal credit. Others outside the creative industries have also found themselves in difficult positions. For example, driving instructor in my constituency, who's not been eligible for any of the self-employed support schemes and only received support through furlough, which only managed to cover his national insurance contributions. The UK government has consistently been slow in responding to this crisis and has failed to provide the long-term clarity about the economic support that's required. We need to do the right thing here, plug the gaps in the schemes and support hard-working people in Aberavon and across the country. Thank you.